So I'm uh, Saj Ahmed, I'm one of the consultant uh, ophthalmic surgeons here at Moorfields. Uh, my main area of expertise is in the treatment of corneal disease for the front of the eye. So the stem cell treatment is, uh, as it stands at the moment, is for patients that mainly have disease in one eye. So they've had a burn usually to one eye, but the other eye is healthy. And what we do is we take a small uh, biopsy from the healthy eye, very small biopsy, that then goes into the lab and then the stem cells in that biopsy get grown up and then when um, they're grown enough, we, um, which takes a few months, we then go to the eye that has a disease that's had the burn and lost its stem cells and we remove all that scar tissue and replace it with the stem cells that we've grown in the lab. The technique commonly in ophthalmology is known as cultured limbal epithelial transplantation or CLET. What this particular technique involves is taking a very small biopsy, uh, about one to two millimetres by one millimetre in diameter, and it uh, gets digested by enzymes and you get single cells away, and some of those cells will be stem cells that you can then put in a Petri dish and they'll grow out. And then once they're grown out enough, you then go and transplant them to the eye that needs them. Most of this sort of treatment is, involves reconstruction of the front of the eye and it involves various steps. First thing that you do is you have to remove that uh, surface scar tissue, replace it with stem cells and that's step one. And then a year later, once you're happy that the stem cells have essentially taken and the surface of the eyes become healthy again, you then go on to do a corneal transplant or uh, remove their cataract depending upon what they need. And then that's, once that's done, that's when they get their vision back. From a surgical point of view, it's not any more demanding than a corneal transplant or any other sort of surgery that we do. Now that we've gone from trial phase into um, clinical phase, we've basically been able to get through nice evaluations. So patients can now come into clinic with either an injury that they've had recently or an injury that they've had decades ago like James and they can have reconstruction using the stem cells and the corneal transplant subsequently. I would on the whole see about two to three new patients every week with severe injuries from chemical assault still and um, uh, so if you extrapolate that we have a significant proportion of patients that still require treatment. Mm -hmm. So as long as the patients are selected for the treatment properly in that they have uh, no specific risk factors, yeah. they all do incredibly well. So if you look at the treatment as a whole when worldwide, probably about 76% of patients do really well and the other 24 will have a degree of success and failure and then you can go back and do another stem cell procedure on those eyes. The cost is as a, it's a significant amount of money, so it's usually about, um, I think the uh, recognised cost to buy the treatment off shelf is about £92,000 which sounds like a lot of money, but if you compare it to other treatments like bone marrow transplantation or uh, other larger procedures like um, hip surgery, mm -hmm. you know, it's comparable. And we have to remember that most of the impact that this treatment has is on, our, on young patients that get this, so patients in their 20s and 30s. And because of the injury that they've had, a lot can then not go back to normal functioning and it has a huge impact on their work, uh, their family. So the impacts of it are not just physical, there are you know, social and financial implications of it. So to put that in context of the money that buys a treatment is a whole lifetime of then, uh, then of someone seeing again. So the most important thing really as part of this is uh, we, although we have a treatment available for this, we'd like to go and try and prevent the injuries from happening in the first place. And I think that's critical now.